Hey guys, welcome back to the Kinwoven Home. I'm Shara and today we have a really fun project. Thank you so much to Minwax for sponsoring today's video. They have challenged me to take a beautiful antique piece of furniture and see if I can refinish it into something a little bit more our style and just kind of have fun with the really cool, awesome DIY. So if you guys follow on Instagram, you may have seen that Tyler and I went antiquing the other weekend. Minwax sent me this awesome box of brand new products and I'm excited to use them and transform something that was a little bit older to something totally our style. And we discovered the cutest high chair, antique high chair from the 40s. I'm not sure if we'll use it as a high chair, certainly not in the beginning, but definitely as decor, and I can't wait to show you where we're gonna put it in the house, because I think it's gonna be perfect. Without further ado, if you are not a subscriber, be sure to hit the subscribe button, thumbs up this video, and answer the question of the video, which is, what is the oldest piece of furniture in your home, in your home? <laughs> that should have ended as a question. Leave the item and then the date, if you know how old it is. Kind of interesting. Okay, let's get started. So here's the materials that you're gonna need for this project. A piece of antique furniture. For us, we're using this awesome antique high chair. A stain stripping agent, if your piece of furniture already has a stain on it. And a tool to remove the stain in the event that you need to strip it. Some sandpaper, stir sticks, rubber gloves, a lint-free rag, Minwax pre-stain wood conditioner, Minwax water-based solid color stain, for us, we're using the color green tea, the Minwax Design Series Soft Touch Finishing Wax, a paint edger as an applicator pad, and a paintbrush. Okay, so the first step is to strip any current stain that might be on your antiqued item. Apply the stain stripping agent, let it sit for a couple minutes. You're gonna wipe it off, then sand. Okay, so I'm gonna use a paintbrush. I'm going to apply, this is the wood conditioning pre-stain. It really just helps the stain that you're gonna put on after really show through evenly and make sure that the color ends up looking really consistent and beautiful all across the whole piece that you're staining. So when you apply, you wanna go with the wood grain. And once we have it fully on the whole piece, I'm gonna let it sit and dry to penetrate the wood for about one to five minutes. Then I'll go through and wipe off the excess. I'm gonna let it completely dry for about 15 to 20 minutes and then I'll go over it one last time with a 220 grit sandpaper just to make sure everything is smooth and ready to be stained. Okay, so the next step, step number three, is finally to grab your water-based color stain. So this is a wood color stain by Minwax. It's actually a pretty cool product. It's five times thicker than normal stains it's water-based, which means it's a lot lower odor, which I appreciate being pregnant. It has a truer color that comes through just with one coat, but it still shows the wood grain, so you don't lose the beautiful grain of the wood when you do put it on, which is actually really cool. It was super simple. You just went to Lowe's, you pick up the can, you bring it to the guy at the paint counter, he'll add the tint to the can, make it all pretty, 
double check that's the color, and then you're on your way. It just took minutes. They have limitless color options. We actually went with the color green tea, and I think it's gonna turn out real pretty. Because this is a water-based stain, it does dry a lot quicker than oil-based stains, which is actually really convenient, and it's perfect for smaller projects. So I'm gonna stir this up, I'm gonna apply it with a paintbrush, and here we go. Applying with the wood grain, using a synthetic pad, I'm gonna then remove the excess stain from the top. And you can see that beautiful wood grain come right through. I'm gonna repeat this step in different smaller sections, that way it doesn't dry too fast. I'll let it dry for two to three hours, and then we're gonna add a beautiful wax at the end that's gonna give it a really, really soft finish. Step number four, we're gonna add the finishing coat. I'm actually gonna use the Minwax Soft Touch Finishing Wax, and I picked this particular finishing wax because I wanted to have a durable kind of top coat, but also something that made it feel really smooth and really soft, and this is gonna do just that for me. So first, I'm gonna stir the wax to kind of get it all mixed together. I'm gonna use a lint-free cloth, and I'm applying this wax all over in circular motions. I'm gonna let it dry for five to 15 minutes. I'll come back with another lint-free rag and kind of remove the excess in circular motions, let it cure for an hour, and I'm done. tray off to do the staining on the actual chair. So to finish it off, all we have to do is add the tray back on, screw it in on both sides, and we're done. How good does it look in this corner of the dining room? I felt like we kind of needed something in this space. I love that it's totally like a decor piece, but I do think it's functional one day when he's big enough to sit in this high chair. And I love that we kept the tray and the little mural painting on it. I love that we kept that and preserved it. And the little boy's wearing a matching outfit with his new chair. All right guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this quick little DIY. This was really fun. I love having an antique piece in our home and kind of putting a new spin on it. Thank you again to Minwax for sponsoring today's video. If you guys wanna know any of the products that I used on this project, I will go ahead and link that below. Okay guys, I'll see you next time. Thumbs up this video and follow on Instagram because I am giving some sneak peeks on what's going on in the house before we have time to film it for a YouTube video. So it's good to always follow on Instagram, at Shara Stevens. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, the first step is to strip any, are you, did you just walk right through? <laughs> Bug.